Alright, you guys. So I've been working on my website. And uh, it's out there and available. But it's not ready. I'm not saying it's launched. <laughs> One of the things we got on there is this Red Rhino fuel line assembly. And, you know, you can see the glare from the camera. How about that? Anyway, so this is it, engineer for maximum fuel flow. Really good. It's a nice bulb and it's all rated hose. So I kind of started, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I, I put a lot of this stuff online really for me to kind of go and order it and then um, also if I make a few dollars on it, that's great. But meets EPA, carb standards, low permeation. So this, this line, like it won't leak, you know? And <laughs> like if you buy, not all lines the same, you can buy that cheap line from Amazon, but it's just gonna leak, you know? It's rubber parts, it's not good. This has got, um, a piece of, uh, like if you looked at the hose, and it's got like kind of a plastic inside there. We'll take it out in a little bit. But uh, it's also engineered with today's new ethanol fuels, meaning, you know, like the old gray line they used to talk about, they fixed all that. Um, primer bulb stays flexible in cold weather kink-free hose ensures trouble-free performance for two and four cycle applications. So this is the universal one, but I got a whole bunch of them on there. I got a Mercury, I got the Bayonet, I got a Yamaha, Johnson Evinrude. Um, so there's whatever one you need, then um, you can buy this. And this is how it comes comes in a package that looks like this it's eight feet long they got three a's i got three a's and i got five sixteenths um so four foot it's eight foot total so you got four foot this way and four foot that way if you need more line i do have just the line too as well um and they're listed on their fuel systems so and these are not the you know you can go get those cheap ones over at amazon but this one's this is going to be you're going to pay a little more money for this but in the long run you're going to save money because it's going to last you for a while next thing i got is uh because i got to make up a thing on on uh the engine i'm working on So we want the fuel bulb to kind of be coming off the engine and on here, if you look, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to say right here. So this is the our flow towards the engine. So on this side, I'm gonna only have it, you know, six to eight inches. So you just pump up the engine. That way it's it's in the correct location that it should pump to. And uh, we're gonna try to route this, this hose around so that it's not a trip hazard or in the middle of the boat any longer, which means that they have these nice crimped edges to to this one and uh we want to we want to do the other the same thing on the other end so this is going to go to the fuel tank and then we've got another connector that's still out on the engine that i need to do for this one so you can do this you can down it advance and they were kind enough to give me a corporate account but you can do this assorted single ear hose clamp kit somatics 
and uh, they have you know all the hose clamps you need and then they also have the tool so hose clamp pliers and the way they work is it just clamps these ed edges here so it clamps them down and that is all you need I much pr better prefer those than to say I've done for years the regular hose clamps and different clamps and I much th prefer this as being a better cleaner installation and honestly you're it's about the same amount of money in price so try this because you'll like it anyway we're gonna pop this dude open All right, so you can see here's our hose clamp. I mean, our, our fuel line hose. Uh, Why well, I said hose clamp, but we'll, you can look down inside there and you can see that there's a plastic inner tubing and uh, it really does help. And it's a low permeation line, so this really helps with uh, your your fuel hose. I don't know why this took so anyway so there's a plastic inner lining of this and that allows it to, if it was just rubber then slowly the fuel would sort of it's kind of like a car tire that starts to get cracked and it starts leaking air where this inner uh, piece of hose keeps it from leaking and anyway that's that and here's the bulb and uh, you can see it's a good quality bulb all right so here's i'm not going to square it out because i think it this is the the bulb he had it's not a bad bulb it was just easier to just go ahead and get him a new one but i'm going to take this one and i'm just going to cut it to like here and then I'm going to fit my fuel fitting. So I've got some pretty good pliers that I use. Kind of cuts them straight. And so I'm going to do away with this. So. Then we can open up this guy. Set that out of the way. We got our two connectors. We got this. Just got to pick our right size for this. So this is six to seven millimeter, five pieces. And I got this at Harbor Freight, so that's not seven. Well, anyway, <clears throat> so we're gonna put this is our connector. And we're also gonna do is put this up here like so. And open up our get our pliers out. And then I like to go on that kind of the opposite end over here. So I don't know which is going to be the best way for you guys to see it. I'll try to do it like this way. Mm. 
and that makes a good connection i mean that dude is not gonna go like you can see like it's really on there so and then we'll hook this to our engine and then i just need to route our extra wire that we have and i'm probably gonna have to do like another connector in or something so the problem that why we're doing this or why i'm doing this is that i'll, I'll show you why i've did it so he had an issue with routing it was coming straight from the tank just right here what we really want to do is route our gas and it's going to go across here and over to the tank so now that i've got this end of it made i'm going to have to route the other part of it so now just lays right in there and we freaking got it backwards. I sure do, don't I? All right, so if you've ever like, oh, I screwed up. So like, this is kind of a good thing. I don't even know why this happened to me, but it did. And you need to get them off. So I got these 10 clips, uh, 10 snips, I'm sorry. And uh, all you got to do is just get that dude in there good. And then, you know, be careful not nick yourself. And I'm going to do kind of a twisting motion or whatever. Sometimes the dikes work good too. But I like using these guys because I can just cut them off. <clears throat> this is good too. You guys can see what we're dealing with. There it goes. Until it finally breaks. See what happens if I do the same thing with this one. Yeah, that's the way to do it. There, are fellers. Until it comes loose. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to take this off. Right on tough. Sometimes when I'm thinking about and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm trying to describe how I'm doing something. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to do it because I want to get it done real fast. And, you know, it's like, I know somebody's probably going to criticize, but, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's good because I am selling these and you can see now they're good i'm just this is just a different project because so watch your finger when you do this come off of there all right now fuel flow So we're going to go like this. Get on there. See, once it starts, it really gets going. Ugh. Probably should have heated it up. Would have been a lot better. I'd have to do all this work. <clears throat> you know what I mean? This is our flow to our engine. Get on on there. 
and get on there. Probably could have done this one better, but do we have the wrong one? Yes. Wow. This is going to fight me all the way. So we need one bigger, don't we? This process is going to fight me all the way. Because my dumbassery in there goes back on. On there better. Not without this though. See? I'm telling you, man. Losing it, dude. Oh, totally losing it. Trying to be non proficient. Now, is this one's too big? Yeah, it's like it's too, still too big. Why? I mean, that's way too big. All right. I mean, that's that's probably the one. Okay. See, it gets a bit a little better each time because it's. I'm trying to convince myself that this isn't a real pain. It's going to have to get it to squeeze down on there. Probably a little silicon oil will be really the thing to have here. Got to get this down here too. So maybe even. May even have to do like this. So when we put it on. Boy, fellers, I got myself doing some crazy stuff. See, I need to, that needs to be back just a hair. So get it started. Then we're going to come up here like that. Now we're going to give her the beans. Get your pliers in there. Hands out of the way and give her the beans. Yeah, that's a good connection. All right, now I've got to put one on this end. do some spray or something it's just silicone lubricant <sighs> mm. 
Wow. Okay. We are should heat it up. Come on. Get on there. Get on there. Get on there.